what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Want to see a man? There's a video out of a Black Panther from Milwaukee. He's G-checking a store clerk foreigner for selling a 12-year-old black girl a tobacco product and then mushing the face of the woman who came and checked him about it. Dude was playing no games with him. He said, you shut up. I'm talking. He asked him point blank. Why did you sell the 12 year old girl the tobacco product and then put your hand in this woman's face? And of course he lied, tried to say he didn't do it. He told him, call your boss. Made him call his boss, boss get on the phone and I guess he was playing games. He, he had time for all of that. He put the phone down, checked him again. He told him straight up, he said, you got to go. I want your ass gone. Next time I come in here, you got to go. Now, in the video, you may wonder why nobody else was in the store. That is because my man had backup. He had Black Panthers on, on the outside of the store refusing to let anybody else in until they were done conducting business. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. If you know these guys, tell them to reach out to me. I need to get them on the show. I need to help them raise funds. Uh, we need to make sure that the people is back in these type of guys. This is what we need, fam. See, I do believe that the more men see how men are supposed to respond in these type of situations, the safer our communities are going to become. We need men, not boys, not dudes who wanna be girls, who are jealous of women, who hate women. No, we need men who love women, who adore women, who appreciate women, who appreciate the little girls, who want to protect our girls. We need men. And fellas, let me tell you something. When our women and our girls feel safe, when they feel protected, when they're in a good space, we're going to automatically be taken care of because women are natural nourishers. When they feel appreciated, they have a wonderful way of showing it. I mean, absolutely wonderful. So, won't be any need to complain and talk about how bad the women are and how selfish they are and how horrible they are and all of this type of stuff that I hear from some dudes who take it way too far. Now, my man, he just laid out the example. That should never come a time when a black woman or child leaves a grocery store, a gas station, any business in our neighborhoods that are owned by others especially, and they feel disrespected. They've been disrespected. Somebody put their hands on them and the whole hood don't rise and go check them. That's need to be automatic. I don't give a damn, like, don't be a sellout. Don't allow these fools to have a pass just because when you go in the store, they treat you good. You make sure they treat the community right. You make sure that the community is good. No one individual can rise above 
his people alone. It can't happen. You can, you're, not, you're never going to be big enough to rise above your people. You're only going to be as big as your people. You can be selfish all you want to, but you only get so far with that. If you got it and nobody else around you have it, you ain't trying to bring nobody up with you, like nobody. You're useless. I salute dude, whoever he is. I salute them, and I salute all the frontline soldiers. These type of things just don't happen when I'm when I'm around. Like I don't be around these type of situations, and I'm in the hood. I go to the hood at least a couple times a week, and I'm not going to the hood to brag to say I'm in the hood. I'm going to the hood because I got business, you know. I got family to visit or whatever. So I ain't standing out on the block, but I'm going to visit my people. I'm going to take care of certain kind of business or whatever. But these people never disrespect people around me. I never go in the store and see them disrespecting my people. Never, not once. It just don't happen around me. And you ain't got to wonder why. I tell you. Because they know when I'm in that store, when I walk in there, it's a man in there. They know it's a man. And they know I'm a protector. They know they're not going to be able to treat my people bad and get away with it. So if they're treating your people bad and in your presence, what they're telling you is that they don't respect you. And they know you ain't going to do nothing about it. Because they're looking at you like a sucker. Now, you might be thinking they're looking at you like, oh, that's the homie. We cool. He going to be cool with it. No. They may think all of that, but at the same time, they're thinking you're a sucker because only a sucker would allow somebody to disrespect his people and get away. No more talk. What the talking about?